Canvas allows you to create groups in your class and give students a place to talk with one another, to share resources, and to work together to complete assignments. The first thing you have to do in Canvas to divide your students up into groups is to click on People in the navigation. And from People, the first thing that you need to do is create a group set. So by default, there are none, but I'm going to create an example here. Uh, and there are several options. You can allow students to sign up uh, on their own, or you can just simply split the, the class up into a certain amount of groups, or you can create the groups manually. So uh, if a certain group of people want to work together, you can manually add them together. And I'm going to show you that uh, with this example. So you click Save. So now we have the group set called Example. And the next thing you need to do is to create the groups within that group set. So I'm going to go ahead and call one group one and the other one group two. So you can see here are my students and here are my groups. The little arrows here allow you to drop down and see who is in each group and you can simply drag and drop the students. You can continue adding the students to the different groups. Once you've done that you can then create discussions or assignments that are assigned to those groups. When you create a discussion that you would like to assign to a group Click Add Discussion, give it a name and the directions. You can choose several of the options and then click This is a Group Discussion. Here you'll be asked to select the group set. In our case, it's the example. So we are going to have them discuss in their group whatever our topic is. So you can click Save and Publish and this will add that discussion to those groups and if you would like to go visit the group to see what they are talking about you can click either one of these two links. To add an assignment to a group I've created an example here already. You create an assignment just as you normally would So you have a name, you have a, the description, and some points. You can click, this is a group assignment, again, down here, and it gives you a couple of options. So you can assign grades uh, individually, or one person from the group can submit the work, and everybody will get that same grade. You need to select the group category, just as we did before, or the group set and then click Save. So one of the things in here that uh, is challenging to do uh, for faculty is to see groups as a student. So I'm going to show you briefly what we just did looks like to your students. So I'm in that class and you'll see here that on the left hand side in my course navigation I have or institutional navigation I have some groups and one of those groups is group 2 the one I just made so when I come down to discussions you'll see that there are these discussions and when I click on the example it goes directly to group 2 discussions so this would be a discussion that I would have just with my group Likewise, you'll notice over on the right side in the uh, to-do work, uh, there is the assignment that I created a moment ago. So students can get to the group from here, and this is what they'll see. They can send announcements to one another. They can create pages for one another, have discussions, upload files, 
and they can use the big blue button uh, conferencing feature or uh, Google Docs collaborations together. That's what it looks like to a student. Again, to you, it looks a little differently. One way that you can go visit your students' groups is to select people, find the group set, and then to the far right, you can click one of these buttons and click Visit Group Home Page. And here you would see what that group has been working on. And that is the basics of using groups in Canvas.